Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be decorating a little bit around the house from all the things I picked up from our little antique date day. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson. I love to do all things homemaking and I'd love it if you would subscribe. And if you're returning, it is so great to see you. You guys, today we are going to be decorating the kitchen island and our little breakfast nook with all things spring. I have some really fun ideas. Let's get right into it. A totally peaceful mind Never need a second try Know you get it so here are a bunch of the things I picked up when we went antiquing. I love these vintage plates. I thought they'd be really great saucers for all of the plants I wanna put in the house. Here is the basket I found. She's perfect and beautiful and in excellent condition. I went to Trader Joe's and got some florals. Here are the book and lion pieces that I found that I just thought were so pretty. And then one statement piece that I actually saw um, a similar version at uh, Restoration Hardware that was like five times as much and this was an antique 19th century, super pretty. I found these at Home Goods. I thought these were gorgeous. They were insanely expensive for a napkin, but gosh, the detail was so beautiful. I had to have them. So I got really inspired to do a tablescape outside, which will be in the next video. This video, I want to get all of these plants done and do some beautiful tablescapes here in the house. The other thing I picked up were these beautiful picks from Michaels. They were all 70% off, which made each of them very inexpensive. I wanna say they were less than 50 cents for some of these. Some of them, they were less than a dollar, but like somewhere in that range. I was so excited, so I picked up a bunch of different ones. I thought we could use these throughout the year. I I love how this tablescape turns out. You guys will have to wait till the end to see how it all comes together. Okay, let's get planting. It could be the best of times. What do we need the troubles? Why? What do we need the troubles? Why? Nothing's ever in your way. Scoring every shot you make. No, you've never heard of pain. Because you're just high on life. Every day is Saturday. Life is sweet as birthday cake. While I was at Michael's, they had all of these terracotta pots for so inexpensive. I was actually headed over to Home Goods to get terracotta pots and they were insanely expensive. So I was so happy I snagged these. I'm looking to do just a couple. I did this a couple years ago on my YouTube channel over at the uh, Victorian and I just wanted to do it again. If you want to tell Tuna, hello give this video a thumbs up but i wanted to just add some florals and my daughter said we should do a purple tablescape for lent and i just thought that was such a great idea so i went ahead and picked up a bunch of flowers over at um, home depot but all of these terracotta plants planters were from um, Michaels. So I'm just kind of laying out what I want to put in each and then we're slowly going to just plant each of these. I do put these outside once a week or sometimes a little more than that. It kind of just depends which ones needed. Not all of these are full sun plants so definitely check out your local store to find non full sun plants. You want partial sun but during majority of the day where these plants are um, sitting in our house they actually get quite a bit of sun and then I just water them outside. They've been pretty happy. So we're just going to get these planted up and then we're going to take them inside and I'm going to show you how I'm going to decorate the house with them. Stranger, 
I'm thinking of haters. I'm thinking of laying down for a nap right here on the pavement. I'm thinking of payday, worried I won't make it. First, I think of a delicate thing and then of a break. Oftentimes when I'm doing projects like this, especially when I want to do something around the house, I usually start with an idea and then I head to the stores and kind of see um, what products I need to kind of achieve whatever goal I'm looking for. I had a vision of using some um, baby's breath, which I usually do around this time of year in my tablescapes, but I couldn't find um, any at the three stores I went to, so I just officially gave up, but I did find a couple other things that I think will look really great to tuck into these, but I typically don't go store to store to store to try to find the exact pieces that I have in my mind. I usually just try to get inspired by the things that are out there. So I loved, these are not the littlest pots that I picked up, but those are the smallest ones that I could actually put a plant into. I also have some really tiny ones we're going to actually use. I thought would be really cute to kind of tuck into this. I was also at Trader Joe's and they had some cabbage in the floral department that I thought would be really beautiful to tuck into one of these tablescapes. So we're going to also do that as well. To get started, I wanted to um, clean off our island. I'm going to be doing a really long centerpiece for the island here that is all plants. I want to use those lions we picked up on our antique day and I found some really pretty sticks as well. If you're looking for um, florals, um, fake florals, uh, for a really great price. Michael's has their 70% off all spring florals right now. I bet Hobby Lobby does as well. It's too far from me. I don't really have time to go drive there. I wish I did, but just not going to be in the cards, especially not over the next month or two. I'm not going to have time to go do that. But if you're looking for a good deal, don't ever buy florals at full price. They go on sale all the time at um, Hobby Lobby and at Michael's. So just wait for them to come on sale. I usually will stock up or postseason. So Christmas, like postseason Christmas, you can get some great picks uh, for like 90% off at Michael's and then just store them with your Christmas stuff. And it's like having new decor when the new season hits. So all I'm going to do is slowly start to pile up some larger florals and these two bookends. And then I'm going to start to take um, each of my pots, starting at the largest, going to the smallest and start to arrange them really beautifully on this cutting board here in our center island. Beneath the starlight sky our love secret line Like leaves we soar so high Beneath the moonlight Self-touch your hand in mine Gets me every time I'm absolutely loving how this area is turning out. It's so pretty. I tucked in some of those bulbs that I picked up from Trader Joe's and all the flowers. And now I wanted to do a very simple uh, tablescape for dinner tonight. I decided that I was going to um, just add a little pile of some of those terracotta pots with the florals inside and then I'm just going to sprinkle around some of those picks from Michael's. Since I had that um, bouquet of cabbage, I'll show you here um, in a minute from Trader Joe's. This is the area I thought would look nice. Since I already picked up those really inexpensive picks from Michael's, I'm going to tuck those into the napkins. It turns out so cute. Tell me what you guys think so far in the comments down below. Lost in the city light. Our love's electric, right? You make me feel alive 
wanted to add a couple other finishing touches to this table. Um, most of this stuff, you guys, you can find at either Hobby Lobby or Home Goods or Michael's. Really inexpensive and affordable. You can use all year long, like these placemats and napkin rings and napkins. Um, even these pots you can continue to reuse for years. These picks that I picked up from Michael's, you can find all of this stuff on sale if you're just looking out for those great sales. I'm going to add some of our beautiful heirloom um, uh, forks and knives and then I also wanted to add a couple more of those tiny little pots I just think this turns out so beautiful the last thing we need in this area is obviously a new seasonal wreath so I'm adding my hydrangea balsam hill wreath to the kitchen and then I will show you how everything turns out I do have an outside decorate with me coming up tomorrow so definitely stick around and hit the subscribe button so you can see that because it turns out beautiful it is all blue and white hydrangeas okay guys Let's take a look at how this centerpiece turned out. In the neon glow, as the leaves change color, I dive into you when summer's fading. There's nothing to do but bask in the glory of the winter sun. Maybe this is the season. enjoyed today's video and maybe got a little bit inspired to bring the beauty of outdoor plants inside definitely check out your local nursery to find plants that need um, partial sun and then add them to areas of your house that get sunny all day long I have so much more to share with you in the coming days so definitely hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video real soon bye Maybe this is the season